I try to just do the same thing with my diet, which is like 70-30. If I can be great 70% of the time and then live my life or be a little wild with a product 30% of the time, I, I think that's a good balance. I'm Hilary Duff, and this is my Women's Health Body Scan. What do I love most about my body? I think that at 34, I have just gained a lot of respect for my body. It's taken me all the places I need to go. It's helped me build a beautiful family. I feel like the older I get, the more confident I get in in my own skin and uh, my body's been many different shapes and sizes and I'm really just fascinated by one, being a woman and uh, two, all the changes that your body can go through throughout your lifetime. I have so many tattoos, I, I don't even think I remember how many I have anymore. I have m some tattoos that uh, I got very early on that of course aren't my favorite anymore, but they're just a part of me. And then I have a lot of tattoos on the insides of my arms. I have a, quite a few tattoos with friends. This little ghost on my arm is one of my favorites and it has in the hem of the skirt, ride or die. And that's me and my oldest friend have that tattoo together. I have a very funny uh, happy face that's on a post-it on the back of my arm which is just a daily reminder to remember all the things I have in my life that make me happy. I have a, a neck tattoo. That's one of my most recent ones that says mother. I really like that one. I have this little Saturn that I love. I also got this with a friend. I don't know, everywhere you look, they, they kind of are like earthy in a way. So a lot of birds, a lot of flowers, a lot of, I have a wishbone, a lot of like earthy things. I have a snake. Uh, my daughter calls this a magic snake. <laughs> I don't know why, but I quite like that she uh, calls it that. I don't have any body piercings, but I have a lot of ear piercings. I mean, I got my ears pierced when I, when I was a baby, and I have, I think, three on this side, and I think I have about six on this side. The most recent one I got was inside my ear, right here, and it's actually been my least painful, ta uh, sorry, not tattoo, my least painful yeah, that's how you say that, right? It's my least painful piercing. And I thought it was going to be awful, but sleeping on is like no big deal. And then anything in the cartilage, I've just given up. I used to want like a lot around the tops of my ears, but I just, I'm, I've gotten weaker in my old age. Every time someone hugs you or you sleep on it wrong, you're just like in so much pain. So I'm good with what I have. I'm the worst to talk about hair health because I'm constantly dyeing my hair blue or pink and then I have to go back to blonde for a roll and then I'll be newly pregnant and I'll tell Nikki, my, my hairstylist, I'll be like, what about Auburn? I've never been Auburn, let's go Auburn. But in three months I have to be blonde. And she'll be like, oh my gosh, dear God, how do I keep up with you? But I chop my hair off all the time. I pop in a ton of extensions any given day. So I, I really like to play around with my hair looks and I do masks and I try, to, I try to treat it kindly, but I would say that I'm not the best at taking care of my hair. Beauty and skin, I, don't, I, I really don't have a ton of time. I try to get facials. There is a, I don't even know if it's a laser. I don't think it's a laser. A clear and brilliant facial I just discovered about a year ago. I really love that. It's not too invasive, but it helps with texture and tone and sunspots and just kind of sloughing off that, that layer that is constantly exposed. So those have, have helped me a lot. And then just sticking to a good regime. But just like everyone else, I get bored of products and I wanna try new things. And I try to keep most of my skincare clean, but I of course make certain exceptions for products that I've used for a long time or to try something new. I think with with that, I try to just do the same thing with my diet, which is like 70-30. If I can be great 70% of the time and then live my life or be a little wild with a product 30% of the time, I, I think that's a good balance. I do feel lucky in the mental health department where I haven't had huge hurdles to get over, but just like everyone else, I have my issues, my insecurities, pain, you know. Therapy helps me a lot. I try to do a Zoom through this pandemic, try to do a Zoom with my therapist at least twice a month, sometimes more, if I need it. But 
I think just talking and having the right people around you that can truly listen when you need them to, taking space for yourself. I've tried to stop thinking about working out as space for myself, even though I know it's great for my mind. That's also something I have to do just to keep healthy for my kids and you know to feel good about my job. But that's not really like space to deal with your thoughts and you know figure out issues that you're dealing with. Um, so I have started meditating a little bit and I like to do that in the bath. Besides like talking to friends, my husband, Sometimes I'll just cancel my day if I have to, you know, if I'm just feeling overwhelmed and overworked. Even being with my kids, even though that's a lot, <laughs> is it like fills my cup up again. You know, I do work a lot and spending time with them, although it can be exhausting, is what I need to feel. Like they're getting what they need and I'm getting, you know, what I love from them.